here's Brody Brazil. Okay, I wanted to give you a quick look at my YouTube remote setup. Uh, it's not the fanciest thing in the world, but man, it's pretty reliable. Gives me good audio and video quality. I really like this setup. By the way, I am here in the conference room at NBC Sports in San Francisco. So definitely not a studio space. It's not lit like a studio. Acoustically sounds nothing like a studio, but that's what I make out of this room uh, these days. Let me show you the equipment I'm using starting with the audio. This is my microphone, the Sennheiser MKH416. Does a really good job, like I said, in this uh, non-treated environment acoustically. Rejects a lot of background noise picks me up pretty well. That goes into this, the Personas Revelator IO24. This is my audio interface slash processing unit. I use compression, little EQ on the microphone, uh, make this thing sound really, really good. I can also mix in audio from my computer source and my soundboard through here, which I'll show you in just a second. All of that goes through this, a little mini hum eliminator. Uh, for whatever reason, when the audio goes from this box to my a10 Mini Pro right here, um, without the hum eliminator, there's a little bit of a ground loop which was giving me trouble. So run it through there, no problem. I wish I didn't have to use that, but it's a perfect fix. Okay, that's pretty much all of the audio because like I said, after the, um, the interface, it goes straight into the A10 Mini. All of this goes straight out to the internet uh, via YouTube uh, through the ethernet cable. Also, I can record everything uh, that the A10 Mini is doing on that one terabyte flash drive right there. So record and stream all at the same time. I'll get more into the A10 in just a second. Uh, video wise, okay, so I'm using this as my main camera. That's the Sony ZV-1. And by the way, there I am. You can kind of <laughs> see me. Oh wait, that's the GoPro camera. There we go. Shooting this on my phone, by the way. So that's kind of the main camera that you see. I'll put the over-the-shoulder graphic on there too. Uh, that's one camera going into my A10 Mini Pro video and audio switcher. There's also this, what is this, a GoPro Hero 3? Very old school, but you know what? It's got an HDMI out. I bring that right into this. And very easily here on my Stream Deck, I can bring up the GoPro camera, or I can bring up, hey, my main camera. Simple as that. Um, and I'll talk more about the Stream Deck in just a second. Oh, I guess with the audio, one thing I failed to mention, my headphones of choice, the DT770 Pros by Bayer Dynamic. Uh, this is the 32 ohm flavor. Um, at home, I actually use the 250 ohm uh, because my audio interface there has a headphone amplifier, a little bit higher of an output. Uh, but here with the Revelator, uh, 32 ohm version suits that device the best. Okay, I've talked a little bit about uh, Audio, video, yeah, everything runs through here. This is the A10 Mini Pro by Blackmagic Design. Highly recommended. Uh, this is one of two that I have. The other one stays at the home studio. Uh, but now I wanna talk about, oh, my favorite pen ever. Just kidding. Uh, every broadcaster should have one of these, by the way. Four colors, one pen can really help you uh, with your game notes, stuff like that. Uh, I want to talk about the Elgato Stream Deck. Now, this is also a product I have a similar version of at home. I have the Mini and the XL at home. Uh, this is just the straightforward regular version, uh, 15 buttons. And what this allows me to do is hit one button right here, and I can put, there you go, the camera with the graphic on it, the OTS over the shoulder. Um, or I can do, if I want to promote uh, social channels, there you go, push that button. Um, everything changes with one push of a button up here. I can look at my multi-view. Oh, hey, I can look at my, uh, my program view, all of that accessible right here. I can start the stream, stop the stream, start my record, stop it. There's also a bunch of different pages here. So for example, yeah, why does it say toilet? Well, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but that's because that's my soundboard. Uh, so everything can be controlled as simple as that. I have a page for tape segments. I have also a different page for uh, live stream segments. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, a lot of this stuff also does run through my computer. Um, the soundboard is visible right there. I can also uh, show you the Revelator software here. This is the software side of my 
audio interface. And um, also in just a second, I told you about um, the A10 Mini Pro. Well, guess what? Uh, there's a software side of that too, right here. So you can do a lot of your uh, programming and uh, the technical side of things on the computer. It's got a software side of it. Uh, the multi view that this thing puts out is phenomenal. It allows me to see everything at once. Uh, so I have complete control over this situation while, while I'm live streaming to know, hey, you know, what I'm putting out is right here on program, the audio levels, audio levels of everything, what's on my computer screen, um, the different inputs here, how's my stream health, it gives me data rate, also recording space on the drive. Uh, truly is remarkable what you can do. So um, hopefully that gives you a better understanding of, of what I do here in the live stream. Oh yeah, also critically important, all of this stuff fits, well, <laughs> let me move my mask out of the way. All of this stuff fits in these two bags right here. So between uh, cables, between hardware, cameras, all that stuff, um, I can carry it in just two hands, as simple as that. So there it is, the live streaming setup here. At, right now it's at NBC Sports in San Francisco, but yeah, the great thing is I can take this pretty much wherever I go. All right, talk to you soon.